Hi, my name is Ed Diaz from Roller Corporation US and I am the product manager for keyboards and synths of, in the US. Uh, today I want to show you some of the cool features of the Jupiter 80. Uh, some of the cool things we're going to learn today are about our supernatural technology, supernatural synthesis and supernatural acoustic. Uh, but before we go into that, I'd like to show you some different sounds in here, some different registrations. So let's take a look at some of these key sounds that come up right when you turn on the Jupiter 80. Uh, the first sound I'm going to show you is Big Mouth Pad. Alright, let's go inside uh, the big mouth pad and see what it's made up of. So we're going to go ahead and uh, leave on solo, and solo is based off of wide bass one. We'll turn off the upper live set, the lower live set, and percussion, and let's see what this registration is made of. So if I go inside and press the keyboard icon here, I can see what the split and layer of each uh, tone part is. So uh, solo has the wide bass that's just down here. And that gives us that big oomph to the sound. Go ahead and shut that guy off. And now we'll turn on the upper live set, which is power padding. And that's made up of four different tones. And so JPH strings 40, Juno strings 1, analog brass 13, and Jupiter 8 brass 6. Uh, let me go inside and let you hear what each one of these does. Here they are here. And so here's the first one, JPH strings. Really nice, smooth, kind of silky. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the second tone, supernatural synth tone, which is Juno string, uh, Juno string one. So a little bit different, not not as silky. Uh, let's check out analog brass thirteen. And let's check out JP eight brass eight and this one will probably come in a little bit later. So let's put them all together and see what we get. Just on that one live set, which is made up of four supernatural synth tones. Great. Now let's exit out of here and let's go inside the lower live set. And let's look inside, press the edit button, and see what it's made of. So we have an OB strings 8. Let's go ahead and listen to this one. And that's right here. A little more faint. And this we have a sweep pad four. Right and let's hear number four, OB strings eight. Now let's turn them all back on and let's check out one more sound right here, and that is the sweep bass. So another sweepable filter. And now when we put them all together, we get that big sound. So, so just... So that's just a good example of the Jupiter 8, Jupiter 80's uh, lineage when we talk about synthesizers. Because as you know, the history of the Jupiters uh, is more innovation, more innovation. When we talk about the first Jupiter, which is the Jupiter 4, that one was the first uh, synthesizer that had four notes of polyphony. And polyphony, once again, is how many notes we can play at the same time. Uh, by today's standards, that doesn't sound like a lot, but back in the early 80s, this was very, very difficult. I, I've been told by the engineers that were around back then. Very, very difficult. Next came the Jupiter 8, and that one had eight notes of polyphony. So now, for the first time, you can have full chords and everything would stay in tune. And then also, that was the first time we were able to layer sounds, stack sounds together, and also split them for the first time ever. So that was cool. And then came the Jupiter 6, where that had six notes of polyphony, but that was also the first time we were able to have MIDI. MIDI was implemented on there. So the Jupiter 80 is more about, more about innovation rather than synthesis. For more information on the Jupiter 80 or Jupiter 50, please check out Austin Bazaar.